This is Magearna. It's one of the most powerful Pokemon of all time. It has a unique ability called Soul Heart, where whenever any Pokemon on the field faints, Magearna gets a power boost. Magearna is something called a mythical Pokemon, a class of legendary Pokemon that you can normally only obtain from special events. Because they're so hard to get, mythical Pokemon have always been banned from official competitive Pokemon. Until now. I thought there would be no better way to celebrate than to get to number one on the ladder with Magearna. Except this looks problematic, given that I don't have Eevees on my Kyogre. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go well. I got to rank 19 in the world, but I couldn't close it out. I knew I needed a new team. Like I mentioned, Magearna gets stronger the more Pokemon faint. So I decided to pair it with some of the most offensive Pokemon I could think of. Choice Scarf Kyogre, Zacian, and Life Orb Regieleki. With my offense secured, I wanted more of a defensive backbone next. So I added the Salt Festi Veltal, who excels at taking hits, and Reflect and Light Screen Grimstar to help keep the rest of my team alive. With my path forward laid bare before me, I set out to answer the question. Can you get to number one in the world with Magearna? Real quick, do you know about Prime Gaming? It's free with your Prime membership and offers free, amazing in-game items for your favorite games every month. This month's offering is a celebration of the Pokemon Go Halloween 2022 event. It includes a new and exclusive drop for Pokemon Go, and it's available right now. Also, keep in mind, these claims change every month, so be sure to come back to check them out. Claiming your drop is super easy. Just head to the Prime Gaming site when you're signed into your Prime account, redeem the code for your Pokemon Go drop via the web or via the Pokemon Go app, and you're good to go. I'll be claiming this offer for the 2022 Pokemon Go Halloween event. And I can't wait to use them to catch Mega Banette, which is being featured in Pokemon Go raids until November 8th. There are so many benefits to joining Prime Gaming. With free game exclusives, a monthly in-game content such as currency and skins for Pokemon Go, and over 30 additional titles. That means you can check in every month for fresh, new drops for all of your favorite games. There's even a free monthly Twitch sub for your favorite streamer. Make sure to check out and participate in the Pokemon Go Halloween 2022 event going on right now until November 1st for some Halloween spooky fun. And don't forget to claim your Pokemon Go Prime Gaming free items before they're gone. Click the link in my description to sign up for Prime Gaming and claim all of Prime's amazing offerings. Magirni of Veltal. Interesting. What did I lead? I led Kyogrization, right? Okay, that's not bad. Um... It's almost a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult because I don't know. I have like almost too many options here. Um, they, they shouldn't be able to knock out Zacian in one shot. And after the water spout chip damage, um, I should be in a spot where I can. Okay, cool. I was mostly just worried about sucker punch is the truth. Okay, so we just get rid of Yveltal for free. We get great damage on Magirna here. This is all solid, I would say. Um... We are going to give Magirna a boost, but it isn't the end of the world. At plus one, it really shouldn't be able to take a kill. And even if it does, it would only be able to KO Zacian. And even then, I could just max Kyogre next turn, most likely. So I think it's okay. Here's the boost, though. Here's where things get scary. It doesn't have a ground move. Oh, uh, well, I didn't know it got a grass move. My Kyogre is not especially bulky. Uh, well, that's actually really bad. Hold on a second. That's actually really bad. This should KO, right? I mean, I don't know my Magearna calcs, but I'm pretty sure that plus one just KOs. There's a lot of static. I will fix... Okay, I, I know how to fix this. Bye-bye. Uh, I'll fix it after this game, and this game is ending imminently, so... Yeah. Okay, thousand arrows. Not a big deal. Did a little bit more disease than I expected in all honesty, but I just have a pretty low estimation of Zygrade. KO for big Magirna. And now this is kind of the, the beauty of Magirna, right? We saw it in turn one when they got a, when I got a KO on the partner and then they got a KO right back. It is possible for me to lose this, but it's no, it's actually shouldn't be possible. Um, If they're faster than me, we might have a problem, but I think we should be okay. I'm also not positive that they'll one shot me. I'm also not positive they won't forfeit because it's a 3v1. Okay, they didn't forfeit. Okay, I'm faster. That, that seals it up. But yeah, basically the thing about Magirna, so for those of you who don't know, Magirna has a it has a unique ability. It's an ability that that uh, is unique to only it. It's the only Pokemon in the game with this ability, and it's called Soul Heart. Now, the way that Soul Heart works is that whenever any Pokemon on the field gets knocked out, faints, goes back to its Pokeball, um, Magirna gets a, a special attack boost, which is the stat it uses to attack. Magirna, you are awful. What? Okay, then, then you're fine. The reason that Magirna is special is that Magirna doesn't say if this Pokemon gets a KO, it gets stronger. What Magirna says is if any Pokemon faints, does Magirna get stronger? So if, if Magirna's partner faints, for example, like what happened turn one of this game, Magirna gets stronger. Um, 
and so that, that that's just for a lot of really interesting situations you can intentionally let your partner get ko'd you can like ko like their partner pokemon to make magirna stronger there's a lot of combinations you can do um and so it's a really interesting pokemon and it's never ever ever legal for a number of reasons in part because of its ability so this is one of the only opportunities we have to use it and it's it's a really interesting pokemon that kind of changes the dynamic regilecki zara aura okay that is quite interesting um i'm really worried that this is plasma fist and explosion because it would just knock out both my pokemon okay no max we don't want to see fake out here that's what we're really worried about okay we got reflect up that's honestly great plasma fist okay wait if it's faster than Alecky, does that mean it's scarf is it scarf Zerora? kaboom oh wait sorry i didn't even process it was explosion i guess the question is is it scarf Zerora? because that's kind of relevant to me it killed through a reflect <laughs> okay we trade one for one <laughs> you thought you thought taking out grimstar was in your favor it's scarf that's really bad actually that's actually super bad okay i didn't bring an electric resistance and i didn't bring a pokemon that can protect itself so i guess i guess it's just kyogre comes in here we sack kyogre and then we win with eval tall because once once the electric types are down i'm bing chilling it's all galio that's fine is that fine oh we have a lot of viewers on tiktok all of a sudden we get a raid or something what happened why do i have so many viewers i'm not sure what happened on tiktok but uh if someone hosted me thank you so much sorry it's really hard to keep track of both the game and also it's Scarf, guys. Don't worry. I figured it out. Kyogre. Oh, Kyogre lives. Okay. All damage in the Sogale is really valuable, in all honesty. Oh, I crit. Don't mind if I do. Actually, getting the survive there is pretty bad. Although, being plus three is pretty nice. Ugh. Oh, I have Reflect, though. Big damage. Okay, behold, make the power of Magirna. Magirna, stop holding back. Show the Sogalea what you can do with plus. That did a lot more than I was. I was building this up because the joke was going to be it wouldn't do any damage because it's plus one special event Sogaleo and it's in Dynamax and it resists fairy, but it actually did a, a lot more than I expected. So, um, good job? Question mark? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Grimstyle, you make me laugh. Wait, we have more viewers on TikTok than YouTube? What's going on? How's everyone doing on TikTok? Have you, uh, did he just max card? Did they just max card? Excuse me. Sorry, bad habit. Um, light screen, that's not going to save you, buddy. They max carded. That's not a great use of your turns, to be honest. Oh, big damage. Your live is on the For You page. Hey. Love well, you're stopping by. Thanks very much. Uh, my name is Wolf. I'm a competitive Pokemon player. Ah, I, sh I shouldn't be modest, right? So I'm streaming on YouTube with, I guess, most of the people who know me and streaming on TikTok with people who don't know me. So I'm the best Pokemon player of all time. Um, and don't check my recent world's performance because that's not relevant to, the, the, to, 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 to that statement. Um, but yeah, my name is Wolf. I'm the best Pokemon player of all time. Um, I make competitive battle battling content. I make a lot of other content now too. If you love Pokemon, you should follow uh, or subscribe. Big damage. And right now I'm beating up a big uh, Steel Kitty with this big clock monster. What the heck is Magirna? All right, watch this. Big damage. What do you have? Any, if you have any questions about uh, competitive Pokemon, you should let me know because I, I would. Uh, I'm happy to answer them. I love. I love teaching people um, about the game. I think it's really, really an incredible special game. So um, yeah. Wait, it lived. Okay. Well, this is a little awkward. I was talking all the smack, but Togolio is still around. Um. Please, ex please, please, please excuse me for a second. All right, but this is actually great, actually, because now I can look at the chats more. What's your favorite competitive Pokemon to use? I I've always liked him on top, to be honest. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. Favorite gen to play competitively? Gen 5, but Gen 8 is number two. What's the best way to get improve in competitive battling? I would say watch a bunch of content, honestly. You got to know what other Pokemon are going to do before you can really start to win. Hey, everyone. This is Wit, the video editor. Wolfie forgot to record his segment asking you to subscribe this week, so I'm here to do it instead. I just got a new cat, and for every new subscriber on this video, I'll give him one pet. Thanks a ton and enjoy the rest of the video. But how do I see my concurrent viewers on TikTok? I think I have viewers reading this. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Um. Oh God. Okay. Okay. We need to connect this play rough. We connect. Excellent. So 
a lot of damage on Kyogre. Oh, Pulse hits both. Okay, I'm losing a Pokemon this turn, but I'm not losing both, which is nice. Did a ton of damage, even through Light Screen. Okay, I'm losing Dialga. I mean, I'm losing Zacian. Um, folks, this one's going to be tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, let's see what the item is here. It is Life Orb. Okay. Okay. I kind of want a Kyogre to protect itself there. It's not Scarf, but I would I would have known if it was Scarf, right? So Kyogre goes down, but I'm gonna take a. I'm probably gonna lose a, uh, my Alangar here this, this turn, like Grim Snarl. Strike, actually. Okay, into Eveltal. Okay, interesting. So that confirms. So that's actually a really interesting move, and it might not seem interesting to you all, but it's quite interesting to me. Um, to me, what that does is it confirms that this Dialga does not have Protect, which is gonna be really relevant in a second. This is going to be challenging. This is going to be super challenging, but I think it's doable. This should be Calyrex, I think. It is Calyrex. Okay, well, you've got the pieces. So how do you clean this up is the question. <clears throat> if this goes wrong, I'm losing. I need this to one shot. It'll one shot unless they're like a Sash or something. I don't die to that. There's no way I die to that, right? No way. That's the power of light screen. So now what happens is it depends on if Yveltal gets the one shot here. If Yveltal KOs Calyrex in one move, I think we're in pretty good shape. It might not look it, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Yveltal moves next. Here comes foul play. No berry. Sash. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and now I lose both Pokemon. And Calyrex gets up to plus two. Let me know right now. Do you think that we can win this? I'm down one Pokemon to three. I see a lot of GGs in my chats. You don't believe? Nobody believes here? Okay. All right. Okay. I see how it is. Nobody nobody has faith. Nobody has faith in the... Uh... Actually, no. I'll wait to push the button. No, you guys are right. You don't know me. You, you're right. What do I know? You're right. This is doomed. You're right. What could little old me do? Hailstorm, Steel Spike. Wait. Hailstorm Strike, Hailstorm, Hyper Beam, Flash Cannon. It might not have a ground move. That was a really good play. Ah, oh, I, I didn't even know. <gasps> it's no dragon move. Please don't drop my special defense. Okay, that's fine. We are probably doomed. Okay, I didn't. Okay, sorry. I didn't expect Helping Hand Calyrex. That's my bad. They used Quake. Oh, you're right. You're right, chat. You're right. Okay, I lost. You're right. Okay. I've never seen me win these, etc., 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 etc. You know them? I've seen better things. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have seen better things. Okay, that's not good. Um, I think I definitely lose. <laughs> okay, here comes the Shuka Berry. This isn't gonna do that much. I'm gonna do like 20%, maybe less. <sighs> I need to miss a P Blaze. Miss, 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 miss. Wait, 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 wait. Plus one max starfall. There's no way this KOs, right? There's no, nah, there's no way. Oh, but it was kind of close, wasn't it? Wow, I was kind of close. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Uh, I think it's a soul fest. I think if it wasn't a soul fest, I would have been fine. Oh, they were pretty good. I lost. Yeah, yeah, I know I lost. Okay, technically it's not impossible. If they're, yeah, it'd be pretty difficult to win from here. In all honesty, this Dialga messed me up. Okay, yeah, okay, that's it, my bad. I think I should have attacked into Dialga. I think I made a misplay at the end. Okay, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. It was a hard matchup, honestly. Okay, that's honestly a great lead for me. That's pretty much a best case scenario. Um, I have Kyogre in the back and Evolve Hall. So we got to think about our long-term plan, right? 100 times victorious. Never seen that one. So it was a good switch out. Um, I just hope that they don't protect because if they protect, things get a little dicey, if you know what I'm saying. But if they don't protect, I'm kind of big chilling, you know? There's a lucky occasion. I'm counting on it too, so I really hope so. <laughs> Wait, I didn't, nobody told me they were good. Hold on. Wait, nobody actually, actually nobody told me they were good. That's actually really bad for me. Um, that is not good. That was a great move. I, I could have played defensively, but the risk reward was just not worth. I could have protected and like, yeah, but I don't know. Um, okay, so we know three other four mons. We we actually can probably infer the last one too, right? Wait, why am I worried? They're just gonna miss P Blades. Do I live P Blades after Reflect? Probably, right? 
Probably. I bet I do. I bet I do. Reggie Lucky is dope. All right, we're taking Station here, which is good because my goal in the long run is to win with Kyogre. The problem is if they have their own Kyogre, that plan gets a little dicey. Take, take out Zacian, which is great. They're going to miss. They, they hit both. Oh, I love Reginald. Oh my God, he's so good. Okay, cool. So we're up in Mons. We're down in... We're up in Mons. I would say we're down in tempo. Oh, I didn't see the vision. I messed up. This was the... I, I had... A, I was a false vision. Ah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. But I, I really thought they'd put Calyrx there. But I was wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. So basically what I did there was I I, sacrificed, I was going to max guard with the Lucky, but I decided instead to get some damage on Groudon, which is important. Um, and to lower the speed stats. And switch in my Eveltal. So why is this relevant, right? I, maybe it looks like I just gave up my Dynamax Pokemon. That's not great. In a vacuum, I agree with you. But the thing is, by lowering the speed stats, I've now put my opponent in a position where it gets a little bit tricky for them because now I've got Kyogre and Eveltal. And because I dropped the speed stats of both Groudon and Caloric Shadow, what that does is it allows me to do something like this, which is just Foul Play and Water Spout, both into Groudon. And then the question is, what do I do with Calyrex? Because now they're in a position where I don't think that Groudon can protect itself. If Groudon can't protect itself, then this is probably my best move. Um, and I'm faster because of that max strikes. Oh, that feels good. So, so that's like a that was an example of like really really good posi offensive positioning where you you basically yield your short term positioning by sacrificing a Pokemon switching out like letting your last turn of Dynamax end and in exchange you win the game um, because your the opponent is in a position where they don't have anything to deal with the offensive pressure Among Us they brought Among Us they brought an Among Us oh y'all they brought Among Us Chat I'm so sorry I don't know how to tell you this <laughs> they brought Among Us Chat I'm so dumb. <laughs> thanks very much Kevin. Oh, that's the not good. That's bad. Getting lights good up is pretty big, though. Let's see what they go for here. They're probably just taking out Grim. Right? The thing is that they really want Trick Room up. Yeah, they're taking out Grim here. Getting a defense boost is not, not very fog of them. I died. I kind of just want to hit the Go Sauce. Let's just do it. I think last time my weakness was that I, I, I waited too long. Let's just hit the Go button. How did you not predict the Protect? The what? Don't you don't you backseat game me? There was the protect was not in the cards of that turn. They, they, they had two good moves there. They weren't in danger of being KO'd, so they were gonna either go. They, most of the time, they would either go, either go rage powder, or they would go um, spore, and they did neither. And in both cases, Behemoth played to my best move. Actually, protect is actually better for me because they because nothing fell asleep. Imagine that it just been spore and desation, then I would really be in trouble. We really hope that the plus one Behemoth blade plus steel spike KOs. I am genuinely not sure. Zation, you gotta do like 60 here, buddy. Because if they go for Max Quake, I don't know if I'm KOing. And if I don't KO, then I'm just doomed. Crit! That's a lot of damage. Don't Quake me. Wait, what am I saying? Of course they're gonna Quake me. Oh, McGear, and I have a really bad feeling that you're a lot weaker than I've been giving you credit for. Wait, I should have Starfold. Uh, hang on a second. Wait, chat. I have a, if this doesn't KO... If this doesn't KO, it's plus one. It's a max move, right? It should KO, right? We're big. Oh, we are turbo chilling. Okay, Magirna boosts its defense. Cute. But more importantly, it boosts its special attack. And you know what they say? Once you boost your special attack, you can never special go back. I missed. I'm so, I'm, I'm so, I'm so bad. I missed. Okay, I think I lose now. Uh, if I hit that, I'm, that was Spout as well. So if I hit that, I'm 100% winning. Ugh, that feels so bad. I should have Sacred. Oh, it's Life Orb. Okay, plus one Kyogre. It's plus two, plus two. Uh, it's gonna be close, Chad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I ran out of steam by missing that. I really did. This is plus two versus plus one. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Oh, Monsieur. <sighs> Wait, is that okay? No, it's not okay, actually. Let's look over Trick Room. No, they went for a car. Ugh, I'm out of juice. I'm totally out juiced. This does not do enough damage. Ugh, I'm totally out of juice. You know what the dumb thing is? I could still win this. That's the worst part about all of this. It totally depends on what their last Pokemon is because Yveltal can kind of solo everything. 
You know what I mean? That's the worst part is that I could win this. Uh, I think, right? I wish I had a defense boost on you, Hall. That would really help. God, if I just had a play rough, I'd be winning for sure. They go for Earth Power. Okay. <clears throat> so it's now a two versus two. My Magirna is all set up, but my Magirna is on one HP. It's not going to survive another hit. Is that Calyrex? Okay. So basically what it comes down to here is, is this stupid Calyrex Focus Sash again? Okay, it all comes down to if this KOs. Evolatol? Oh, I was so close. That's literally... That's okay. Yeah. Okay, Calyrex are running Sash. That's un it's unfortunate I missed the play rough, but Sacred Sword would have done something similar in all honesty, so I, I don't know if I needed to gamble there is the truth. And I don't... The crit may have mattered, honestly, since it was clearly not offensive to Yalga. We just don't want to see Rillaboom lead or Groudon. Eh. Le. Eh. Um. Chat, I, I have one question for you. I have two questions for you. First, who station activated those swords first? Because I wasn't watching. Second, do we ball? You think I'm afraid of a little sunlight? You think the harsh sunlight can scare me? I've got Reginald in the back. Chat, there's only one way that this can go, and it is quite badly. Je m'appelle if de la Chien Rouge. Ah, it's okay. We're being chilling. We got a lucky. Ah, uh, are we being chilling? Uh, do we ball? 80%. That's good chip. I'm down. That's good enough chip for me. Okay, high roll the Behemoth Blade and, and also crit it. Okay, it's fine. Good enough for me. That's enough damage. <clears throat> All right, now this turn is going to look really bad, okay? And I know that, and just don't, please don't give up on me, because it's going to look bad. Calculated. Just plan for that. You guys think I didn't, I didn't, you think that wasn't part of the EVs that I obviously planned for? Chat, please, a little respect. Obviously, I calculated that. I don't want to stay in a water spell. I'll tell you that much. I hope they don't have quick attack because if they do, uh, bye bye. I want to. I need an adult. This could go really bad. I can't win anymore. I should have just sacked Kyogre. Please don't kill me. Please. Okay, it's a run. The issue is now it's plus two, which is really bad. And now all my Pokemon are at no HP left. All right. You know, all you need to get this KO. I actually don't. It doesn't have much HP left, but it might be enough that this doesn't KO. Come on. Okay. I still am pretty sure that I lose this. Sorry guys, I didn't I didn't account for cost up very ground on. Basically it comes down to who it is targeted. Okay. Why is this the best player in the entire world? I'm Scarf Kyogre, so I didn't want to take the one I didn't want to use one HP water spell. I figured it'd be better to just take out the Zacian and then yeah, go into Yvaltal. It seemed pretty safe to me. But I was wrong. And the issue is that now the Zacian is plus two special defense. Like that's actually what's what's really bad. It's definitely not Rilla. Yeah, you're, you're actually right about that. If it were Rilla, then they would be kind of inting here. Bodyguard? That's even worse. That's actually the worst case scenario. I no longer have the health to win this. I could have read into that. I could have maybe gone. I, I think. I think Orin Pulse and Max Lightning was fine. Uh, nah. Okay, that's not good. Maybe they'll go for the. Maybe they'll use a weird move here. Thing. This person outplayed me every single. Ooh. Snarl. I can't win this anymore. <laughs> yeah, that plus two special events. It was the cuss step berry that really got me. <clears throat> double dog. Double dog was too strong. Couldn't keep up. All right. Let's slow down. It doesn't really matter. 
you just need to go on a win streak that's really how you get to rank one is you just need to go on it's just like one good win streak so losses aren't aren't that big a deal in all honesty man those wolves are strong whim station okay i would say that's not ideal in all honesty because they're gonna get speed control over me i'm not gonna be able to get both screens up and that's just okay I think that this is okay. And I also, I mean, I could have let Alecky, but it was just too volatile. Chat, I got bad news for me. I no longer have a way through. Uh, okay, we're kind of okay, I guess. I have Reflect Up, which is awesome. And I got some damage on the Zacian, which is also good. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. So we know they don't have Sacred Sword. They've got Imprison. Okay, I'm faster. Honestly, respectable damage. Super respectable damage. I'm basically just trying to put myself in a position where Kyogre can do something good. But uh, that might be difficult. Uh, Kyogre, my beloved. You're going to have to super hard carry there. Here. Wherever. Okay, Kyogre. <laughs> if nobody else got me, <laughs> I know Kyogre got me. <laughs> in a perfect world, they don't max Grout on here. This is not a perfect world. In a... If they're faster with their Groudon than my Kyogre, which is extremely likely, I think it's automatically over. Okay, now it's just doomed regardless. Okay. Pongers? Wide people glad, champ? Okay, well, we learned that their Groudon was faster than my Ogre. So now the question becomes, what do I do? <laughs> I have Scarf Kyogre and I've got a lot of damage on Groudon. If Zacian goes down here, and this is most likely into Kyogre, but if they read the switch, then good for them. They didn't read the switch, good for me. The so that's through Reflect? That's through Reflect? Okay, Play Rough. I was like, it's either Play Rough or Behemoth Blade. I hope it's the one that I want. Uh, with plus one digital events, this still goes down. Okay. So we know Whimsicott in the back is not a threat to us. Groudon is on. It's okay. We got out of him prison. Finally. Tailwind went down. I wasn't paying attention. Hey. Yeah, Valthal, my friend. Hey, I'm walking here. All right. I got a couple turns to get through this freaking Tailwind. Thanks very much, Rad School. I appreciate that. What accent is that? I honestly like, like cycle through accents so often. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you if I wanted to, and I don't want to. I have reflect up. So unless this is like Stone Edge, he blades. That's fine. Kyogre's health is not the important thing. We're trying to win this game with the Tall is the truth. for one more turn. Oh, I'm so close. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. That's unfortunate. Zacian will live this is the thing. Zacian will survive. Zacian will survive this. So the question is, did they go for Precipice Blades? They went for Stone Edge? I caught... I was like, it's going to crit. Okay. And this chat is a guaranteed win condition. Watch this. Behemoth played here. I didn't go for player up because I learned from my mistakes. I didn't want to potentially miss and lose the game on it. So now Groudon goes down. Tailwind were up two turns ago. This is the third turn of Tailwind. They have one turn of Tailwind remaining. And what that means is that my the reason I've saved Zacian to the end here is that Zacian has Protect. So what I can do is I can go Protect. Can't do anything about that. And I can go for Sucker Punch here. And if they want to get rid of Yveltal... They have to attack. So, Sucker Punch comes out. Kyogre is down very low. They go for Spout again. If this is Scarf Kyogre, I might have a problem. Unless this, this shouldn't. Spout Kyogre. Or, yeah, Scarf. Yeah, okay. And that's game. And there's no counterplay. That was through a crit. Okay, they really wanted to crit. And that's how you turn around a game that was looking pretty bad. Between the Imprisonation, the Groudon crit. Whimsicott Groudon. Okay, this lead is far, far, far more in my favor. Being able to just stall through these turns of Tailwind and then be done with Tailwind, like be able to win with Kyogre in the late game is super valuable. And like, if they, what are they gonna do? Stone Edge me? They're not gonna crit, right? If they don't crit, I'm just gonna heal off the damage entirely. Oh, 
Okay, that's big damage. Oh no, my Yvelto took damage. And his speed got dropped. Wah, 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 wah. That's what you sound like, Yvelto. I mean, no, that's what you sound like, Groudon player. Die. They get a free switch in. It's not ideal, of course, but it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I get both screens up. I can max Yvelto if they go into Kyogre. If they go into Zacian, I'll just go for a foul play. Okay, no max. Smart of them to conserve it. They miss. They hit. Badge. Okay, that was a good play. Um, I could have airstreamed. No, nah, airstream wouldn't have done anything. They're probably going after Grim, right? The Grim Reaper. Yeah, good play. Um, in all honesty, I I'm in a kind of an interesting spot here, right? Where I got some good damage on Zacian with this foul play. This foul play is really important because it puts Zacian in uh, range of attacks later. Also, it just does infinite damage. He blades into miss, miss, miss. I'm so cracked. Player up. Okay, I thought I would live this, but in hindsight, there's no way, right? Yeah, I was wrong. I was so wrong. I am so invalid. Okay, but I didn't really have a better move there. It's not like I could have switched into Zacian. So I think in the end, this actually ends up being correct. The problem is, who is the last Pokemon? You know what I mean? Oh, Yveltal. You dare show your face over here, huh? After what you said, huh? Yveltal, really? You think you're so tough? Um... I'm like worried about really niche situations right now. Basically, you also sometimes will run Heat Wave Life Orb, and that could be a little problematic. And would also like that would basically keep their Zacian alive. Okay, my Zacian uses Protect. That's to be expected. The question is, what is their Zacian doing? Darkness. Okay. Into Kyogre. Okay. Pause, champ. No way. No way. Probably going to lose on a player I miss. That's my prediction. Chair stream. This is still the correct play for me. Oh, this is. Ah. I mean, I don't have a better move here. I didn't have any better moves because this <sighs> on a crit. Okay. Ah, that sucks. Okay, so every three years, a new generation comes out. And um, basically, the way that it works is that when that new generation comes out, interest in Pokemon spikes. Shoots way, way, way up, right? Tons of new people. We're talking factors of like 10 times, if not more, for pretty much across the board. From there, it's a pretty steep decline. So... November, December, it's super high. January, you start to see the decline. And by February, you're declining fast. And, and then what happens is you hit a new plateau, um, which is higher than the old plateau, but still much lower than the peak. So why do we care about this? Well, the reason why I think that this is interesting um, is because that is how it's always worked. That is how it worked in X and Y. That is how it worked in Sun and Moon. And that's also how it worked in Sword and Shield. So huge new exponential growth, sharp decline, new normal. And over time, Pokemon has been growing, which is awesome. Um, however, here's what's interesting right now on YouTube should be the most dead that Pokemon content has ever been by a long shot, right? There has been no new game in a while. Legends RCS was not like a real mainline game. BDSP had no real connectivity with uh, Sword and Shield. It was kind of just like a remake. It wasn't like really interactive in the same way. Um, it wasn't like Ores or... It wasn't like Ores or anything. I should have protected. I, I had a feeling I should uh, there. Um, and yet... Despite that, um, Pokemon content on YouTube right now is doing the best that it ever has been by a long shot. Um, like it's not close. And, and we're talking, including comparing Pokemon content right now to like big releases and stuff like the big, like the big moments from, um, from the prior games. So this, this time right now where it should be the most dead that it ever has been ever Pokemon content is doing the best that it ever has been. So why is that? Well, I think in large part it's because people figured out how to make good. This person is really tilting me. Let me get your Kyurem. Hey. 
Take out Thunder Wave. Hey, Tears, question mark. Yeah, it's 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 stuff like I mean I think honestly like what John and Jack have done, sorry, PM7 and um Purple Cliff have done is a big factor in that. Um you also have more general creators like uh Small Ant, um Alpharad, it's uh Jaden also is a big factor in this, but basically people have been figuring out how to make good Pokemon content. Back in the day, and I'm I'm super guilty of this. I'm guilty of this maybe more than anyone else. Like the content that people would make was so niche. Like it was so targeted to people who are already watching Pokemon content and um Press F if you think I'm gonna press press one if you think I'm about to get full paralyzed here despite covering for this. Um it was so niche. And so basically because of that, the the viewership was really niche. And so people have figured out, wait a second, like Pokemon is the biggest oh wow, media franchise in the world. It is the single biggest media franchise in the world. People know about Pokemon. People love Pokemon. Like we can make videos that are actually like approachable to like the casual viewer. Um, and so because of that, Pokemon content has really not only seen a spike in viewership, but seen a spike in quality, which is a really big deal. And so when you consider that right now, the content is doing better than it ever has been at any point previously in this entire life cycle, right? And on top of that, um, people have figured out how to make actual good Pokemon videos. I think that the conditions are right, basically. I need damage on this thing is the truth. I think, the, I think basically like when you consider the exponential effect combined with the, uh oh, with the current um, highest viewership ever, I think it's going to be huge. Calyrex, not so nice. I just know I'm about to lose this one on uh, on on full para. I can feel it. <laughs> I can still win this question mark. Oh, they're fat max speed. Oh, they boomed me. They super boomed me. Ah, if they max quick me, ah, this is so risky. Like, basically, if it's a hailstorm, I'm fine. But if it's quake, oh man, it's probably quake, right? If it's hailstorm, I might be okay. If it's quake, I'm not okay at all. I'm so close. <laughs> Behemoth blade this should be into um, the grim snarl is my guess. They predicted me. I can't believe they predicted me there. Okay, they partially predicted me. Hmm. Olangar. Why are you doing this to me, Olangar? If I had just gotten away through, the, if I just found a way through the station, like, I would have been okay, I think. The issue is that I did not find a way through the station. Spoilers. I need McGearn to make it through this turn, which I think it should, thanks to this defense boost. Thanks to the scary face. Thanks to my expert foresight and analysis. Thanks to my brain. I live this unless they crit, which even though this has been going. Okay, I'm still alive, but I am barely breathing. Hellstorm comes out into a longar. Rather than going for a special defense boost, that's interesting. Oh, you want to see the moves? Hang on, I can make myself smaller, sorry. I really want to see my nice big face. You should have an easier time now. That's a little small. How about that? All right. I'm plus one McGear now. Chat. Do you love me? Really? Take out. Okay. So what are they doing with this? Because I don't think McGearn is going down. It's bare. It's bad. They always have the perfect item. <laughs> that being said, this is still winnable. I fully believe that. That's a ton of damage. Honestly, it all comes down to this turn. This is the crucial turn. I don't think my Pokemon. It depends. Uh, McGearn is probably getting KO'd here. I forgot about the attack boost. Oh, I forgot about the attack boost. I'm going to lose on full para. That's how this ends. That's actually, I've seen this movie. This is how that ends. This is how that, this is how this, that, that's how this ends. Because I need to, I need them to protect Calyrex, basically. They have to protect Calyrex here, I think. Okay. <sighs> My special attack doesn't matter, so it's okay if I get dropped by Spirit Break. And thanks to Reflect and the healing from this, which isn't a ton, but thanks to the defense boost and Reflect, I don't think I go down to Spirit Break. Basically, if I take the KO, there is Asian comes in and I just lose. Hoplite comes out, but it should be okay with Reflect Defense. Hey, that's fine. 
Okay, right now what we're going to do is we're going to cover for a double protect. Because if they get the double protect, I lose regardless, right? So I have to go because basically if Zacian is the field before Calyrex is down, um, or, or like if Zacian and Calyrex are on the field at the same time, I always lose. I need to take these both in the same turn, basically. If I And I lose on full pair. They go for the double. They don't get it. <sighs> Zacian, come on, buddy. Come on. Don't get full parried. Please don't get full parried. Okay, I have a 75% chance to win this. Zacian, <laughs> my beloved. Reflect and Sacred Sword means... All right, Zacian, it's all up to you. It's all up to you, buddy. I killed, right? Oh, man, that was a close one. That was way too close for comfort. Palki has Amazenta. Okay. Interesting. That's Groudon for sure. Ugh, okay. Not good. There goes my max. Oh, they got me. They super got me. I hate play. Zamasen is actually really hard for my team. Oh, I should have protected. I couldn't have protected there in all honesty. It was too risky. What are they going for? Snarl? Oh, God dang. Okay. That's really bad. Um, Maybe a crit will come out? Okay, if Groudon goes down... I mean, we're still in bad shape if Groudon goes down, but we might be able to do okay. Oh, that did not very much damage, did it? Basically, we're going to be aiming for Yveltal taking out Groudon while Lucky puts Zamasen in two-shot range. So they should want to go for Prestos Blades here since Aleki is my max. I think Foul Play should do enough to two shot from this range. Easily. They go for Rock Tomb, but they miss. That's super huge. That was a really lucky miss. Okay, they're going to give me Foul Play damage on something, which is actually a pretty big deal. That's actually a huge deal. This Foul Play damage can do, like, it's going to do significant damage. And we know all the Mons now as well, which is super good. Huge damage on Zamazenta, that's great. I am gonna end up at minus two though. Eh, which is not ideal. Okay, I know all the mon I know that Palky is the Dynamax Pokemon, which means frankly my Wait a second, electric trains up. Um all my attackers are special, which is really bad. I gotta remember to bring Zacian versus Zamazenta next time. That was a mistake on my part. All their Pokemon are weak to Zacian, which is funny. Ah, bad play by me. Super bad play by me. Oh my god, I could have just killed the Zacian. I gave them way too much credit. I had I had two easy ways of killing the Zacian. I gave them way too much credit. I don't reflect up or anything either. Ugh. Lives, but if they go for a damaging move here. Oh, that's not ideal, is it? That's <laughs> such a funny animation. <laughs> this is my one good Pokemon answer to our strong guys. Open their mind. They just died. Thanks, coaching. Critical hit there is actually really bad, if anyone was curious, but it is what it is, as they used to say. They got me. Oh, they absolutely just boomed me. Yeah, I've got Yveltal still, which is fine. This is probably AB ground on based on the damage. Okay, honestly, getting a speed drop on the Palkia is kind of nice. I'm not even going to lie to you. Here comes the Palkia. I mean, they're giving me boosts. You know what they say? If a girl gives you boosts, she must really like you. I don't think anyone says that, Wolf. I'm just trying to get McGearness and boosts. Okay, that's all. I'm a simple guy. I want my... Please don't miss this. Please don't miss this, Reginald. Oh, you're so Omega Turbo Ultra Cracked. Please go for Spatial Rend, question mark. Dragon, 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 dragon. Not quick, not quick, not quick. That's uh, not the end of the world. Not ideal, is it? Not the end of the world, is it? Okay, plus one. What's the situation? Minus one speed Palkia. New Groudon can't protect itself. Ooh, it's life orb. Ugh. Okay. Plus two. The question is, who's faster? Minus one Palkia or Magirna? Magirna, baby! Okay. <laughs> uh, you make me laugh. Uh, I think I have a pretty good move here, which is Sucker Punch. I honestly don't believe that'll KO. But I think I should go for it anyway. Um, that was kind of a mistake. Okay. Whew. You're a gym leader in Adro's game, aren't you? If I am, it's the first that I'm hearing about it. 
like what I want to do is Origin Pulse Behemoth Blade, take out the Zacian. But the issue is that I'm just going to run out of steam because Kyogre comes in. I've got no way to deal with Water Spout. If they play off for Behemoth Blade by Kyogre, I take infinite damage. You know what I mean? Like, I think that in this position, I'd rather just go for Max, force them to either let my Zacian keep its full HP or alternatively, like Kyogre has full HP and is still in Max. You over Tailwind. Like, so this means I get Zacian, which is the number one threat in the team. I don't need to max a Lucky. Like, yeah, I was planning on it, but I lose. Probably. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, this is probably not stash with my instinct. I have my inst Okay, this is just not my day, is it? Uh, okay. Can I win this? Most likely not, right? I take out Zacian, Whimsicott's down to Sash. The issue is that now their Kyogre comes in and things are going uh, south. Because they just go into uh, Kyogre, click Helping Hand Water Spout in this game. Unless it's Calyrex. I, I didn't think it was Calyrex, but I decided to, like, I can manifest it maybe. Mm. I need them to Geyser here, is the truth. I didn't go for Helping Hand, they went for Moonblast. It's fine. I live one more. Geyser, I don't think that should be into my Ogre, right? Okay, I take that decently well. Okay. I should love this. So I'm sacrificing Zacian here, but... It is very worth it here. I may also be sacrificing Kyogre, which is a little bit less worth it. Wait, 15 times 17... No, I live, I live, I live. Rust, bro. I love this. A chip damage actually ends up being a little influential potentially. Because now, okay, Whimsicott goes down. That's Poggers. Um, my Kyogre survives, barely. Snarl is fine. That's so fine. Because the goal here is not to win with... Um, the goal is just to get Yalta to survive for the turn. Because the, the secret here is that I set up Electric Train, which allows... Huh? Oh, no. Ah, uh, it's fine. Uh, I don't die to that. Sometimes I say things confidently, and the truth is I have not even a slight, like an inkling. Sometimes I say things, and I'm like, sounds right. And I truly have not, not a clue in the world. If I would knew my calcs better, I could probably make a better play than this. Like, there's probably a safe rising voltage plus foul play play here. But I'm going to go for Electro Web and Sucker Punch, because I think that it KOs both. I know a KO's Ogre. That's why that, that chip from earlier kind of matters. So they don't go for Sucker Punch first, which is great. I guess this is only 95% accurate, but I'm going to hit both. I really thought I missed there. We just don't want to see Necrozma. Calyrex and Amazenta. Okay. You know what? I can work with that. Let's see if they protect it. Okay, no protect. It looks like their their aim is just to slow down electric man. Which is like respectable for sure, but I Here's the secret to Reggie. Oh, they they I oh, I can ex Oh god. Okay, this is like a reverse. They want to like sweep Fogolea or something. It didn't kill. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm hitting the ghost sauce. It's time. It's an early max, but Reggie Lucky's so powerful that I feel good about it. It will do tons of damage to Zamazento, who is really annoying because of wide guard. They'll sucker punch. Hey, what do they do? What do they do? What did you do? So much damage. It's probably will o -Wisp, right? <laughs> oh. Badge. Oh. I probably should just Oblivion Wing last turn, but whatever. Hindsight's 20 20. If they have them both in the back, if they want to protect Kyogre, which is valid, um, they're probably going to Will-O-Wisp here, right? Not Snarl. They've already got one Snarl down. We go for Will-O-Wisp. Okay. Ugh. So I'm minus two Yveltal with Burn on me. Um, they have Reflect up. So basically, my physical attacks are worthless here. Ugh. They have Necrozma in the back. It might be a problem. I could have protected. That may have been better in hindsight. The lucky will not survive a behemoth blade. Oh god, I could have just I could have just won the game outright. Oh no. They didn't even max. Oh, I knew I was the wrong move. Okay. Ugh. 
electric dodge it. Okay. All right. No oh, lord. Why didn't they max? Oh, I should just. I. That was the wrong move. What if they go for like thunder? That'd be so bad. Oh, I know why they didn't max chat, and I do not like. It. Okay. Here's the the only. There is one upside here, which is that combine Kyogre. Normally want an Origin Pulse and Ice Beam. And if that is the case, they do not have a good move to hit my Kyogre. If they have Thunder, I think this is just Omega over. We need this to be... Th okay, Thunder comes out. All right, it's the three versus... It's probably a two versus one because Yalto's probably going down this turn. That's the end of the Zacian. Crit doesn't matter. Reflect also ends this turn. Dark Pulse is going to do a pittance. Pathetic. Geyser, okay. Ogre's alive for one more turn. We all did his best. Okay. If they do have thunder, they're probably going to use it here, right? So for that reason, if they don't have thunder, I should win the 1v1 anyway. Also, I'm just going to get the para full. Mm, that didn't do enough. Para? I'm going to get the para full para. Trust. I basically think the odds are in my favor with this. Because I think Behemoth Blade Thunder Thunder has a chance to probably do... Well, it's not enough, but it's going to be close. Para, 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 para. Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm actually unbelievably good. I have one more choice to make, though. Oh my god, I actually almost didn't make that play. Okay. And that should be Master Ball. Let's go. I'd finally made it to Master Ball, and at rank 8, no less. A few more wins, and I'd be number 1 in the world. Unfortunately, I was about to face my toughest opponent yet. Alright, this is the ranked 5 player in the world, versus the ranked 8 player in the world. Uh, I forfeit. I can't do anything. Sorry. Yeah, thank you for watching the stream, everybody. Um, I really appreciate the support, but I should probably try and win. I think you're not leading Groudon. I don't think Groudon Charger Bug does anything. So I'm going to make a risky play here. I'm going to lead Kyogre plus Reginald. Who are very bad into uh, our friend Groudon. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. They're probably gonna go for like Electroweb. No! Charger Bug's too strong. I'm sure Charger Bug does so much damage, is the worst part. Charger Bug has an ability called Battery. Um, it's also an Electro type, which is really good. The question is are they gonna max Groudon here? I'm pretty sure battery is only for special attacks. I'm also pretty sure I'm in danger. <laughs> Chuckles, I'm in danger. Uh, this is a bad play, but I, I wasn't inherently a... Okay, all right, I'm actually coming okay. Oh no, Electro Web, Stick, sticky weeb. Okay, Um, I have a vision. Is it good? No, but it's all I've got, I think. I'm basically forced to max Shevelt all here because of sticky web, which I didn't realize was something I was gonna have to say today, but don't protect. Okay. I need this charge bug gone. It is the biggest threat, honestly. It's so bulky. What? Ah, it doesn't do any damage. What? It's so bulky. No, it is so. I thought for sure. <laughs> oh. Bad idea. Tell me that's a crit. It just does that much? Oh my god. Oh, it's life warp. Hey. That's not ideal. Okay, that was the wrong dodge. Thanks, though. I'm minus one. I'm so screwed. This thing actually just ruined me. And the secret the secret is actually in my Reginald. Oh god, okay. Alright, chat. I know it looks bad. I know it looks bad. A little faith, please, okay? You ever heard of the world champion? Yeah, kind of a cool guy, right? There's no way I'd be in charge of Electro Web String Shot. Dude, this thing is so strong. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we take out Charger Bug finally. And we now have a chance in this game since Charger Bug is down. I was worried about them switching Groudon out and sacking both Charger Bug and another Pokemon, but. Yeah. Well, lucky, I should have used Rising Voltage into Ground on there because there was no need to slow Charger Bug down. And yeah, for obvious reasons. 
Okay, Ogre takes out Charger Bug. So it's three versus three. They have Sticky Web Up, which gives them temp. Like it basically it gives them future speed control, but it doesn't help them right now. What I'm hoping is that they go into Zacian here and try and basically like play rough Kyogre or something. Okay. I believe personally that I have a 95% chance of winning this game because the thing is that they do not know that my Kyogre is Choice Scarf. And because they don't know that, they also don't know that at minus one, it's like because my Kyogre is minus one, ordinarily their Zacian would be safe. I go for Protect, okay. I am timid max speed Kyogre. So I, I really should outspeed this Groudon. I really should. I can't believe that. I am timid max speed Kyogre. Oh my God. They are jolly max speed Groudon and they won the speed tie. Oh, that sucks so much. I was so confident. I was so confident. Oh, that feels so bad. Oh my God. What are the odds? Oh my God. They're lost. If that turn goes correctly, this game is 100% over. There's no, there's no way back for them. Wow. Oh, I played so well too. What a way for the win streak to end. Okay. And it's, yeah. And I was only in that position because of sticky webs. Jolly Max be out on. Okay, well, let's just There's no way out of this. Dang it. Oh, man. It's not a speed type with webs up. If your scarf scarred at minus one is always one point below max speed without scarf. Oh, that was rough. But I probably wasn't going to play another team that strong. And I was still ranked 15, which is close enough. My next opponent was ranked 13th. So beating them would give me a lot of points. Whimsicott, you bring Whims in my. You dare to bring Whimsicott and Zation into my house? It was a speed tie. Okay. Tailwind? Unless this is the world's bulkyization, this thing is going to get deleted. Be gone. Be gone, Zation. I have no time for your games. Disappear into the night. <laughs> please die. Please, Zation, please. Yes. Bye-bye. Chat, who, who's ready to like you doing stronger? Theirs or, or mine? <laughs> please. Okay. We don't want to see Helping Hand here. Anything else is fine. Helping Hand makes this be scared. Uh oh. Okay, light screen. All right, that's fine. That is okay. That's not good. We're going to lose. <laughs> okay, I go for light screen. Do we think that Grimmsnarl lives this? I don't think so for a second. I don't think so for even a little bit. Oh, it's physical. Oh, it's physical. Okay. Light screen is a problem because all my Pokemon are special. I didn't do enough. Okay. Um, two turns of Tailwind left. My Pokemon in the back are kite. I didn't bring anything with Protect into a Tailwind team. What is wrong with me? Okay. Okay. They wasted their move, which is good. I made the wrong move here, by the way. I should have gone for Lightning again because now I'm just in danger. Yeah, there goes my Grim. Yeah, I made the wrong move here. Um. Yeah, that was really dumb. Oh, that was so dumb. I, I like was fine and then I totally blew it. I, I like totally lost uh, track of the thread. <sighs> Possibly winnable. There goes my Kyogre. Energy ball. Okay, that's fine. Just don't crit me, please. Great. There's the light screen value. Rising voltage should do a good chunk. Good enough for me. They're out of max, they're out of tailwind. They're lucky like, can't protect itself either because it's assault vest. Okay, this should kill. And if it doesn't, I lose. Okay. <sighs> this is why we went after the Zacian turn one and, uh, with the hopes that we could win the late game with Eveltal. We also set up rain. This is like a minor detail, but I set up rain actually early. Like I went to Kyogre first for a couple of reasons, but one of them, this should kill. Okay. One of the reasons why we did this is because we wanted rain to burn, start burning rain turns as early as possible. 
Electricity's gone. That actually is in our favor, I think. We don't, like, it doesn't really matter anymore. By the way, one minor thing that I did here that was pretty subtle is I went Hyper Beam first, Strike first, and then into Rising Voltage. Rising Voltage is a lot stronger than Hyper Beam. Uh, but the reason I did that is in part because a lot of those Whimsicott tend to carry Citrus Berry. Um, so even though, like, I basically wanted to do less damage first. And so there's a chance that if I had gone Rising Voltage, Rising Voltage, I wouldn't have KO'd, but Max Strike into Rising Voltage did it. Um, yeah. Big damage. I'd made it back to rank eight, but I wasn't prepared for the most difficult opponent I've ever faced during one of these rank one challenges, the dreaded 10 minute queue times. I searched for an opponent over and over and I couldn't find a single one until I've seen this movie. Oh, I'm just going to miss, right? I, I don't have a better option here. I need to go for play rough. It's going to connect. I can't even express how unfortunate that is. All right, there's good news and there's bad news, but it's mostly bad news is the truth. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty nice in all honesty. Hey, okay, that's fine. I lose both here, but I set myself up for success, baby. Oh, oh, wait, they made they made a mistake. Hold on. I really need this to be slow, Dialga. Like, if it's got speed EVs, then I'm just super screwed. Also, slow Kyogre would be super nice here, too. Okay, okay, I get the KO on Dialga. Okay, and I get the damage on Kyogre. So I've got plus one Magirna. Hold on. Out. Pulse hits both, as usual. They crit me. I was actually fine. I was actually okay. I waited seven Qs to get play rough miss turn one into crit Magirna Opulse. Oh man, that's really unfortunate actually. I, I was fine. I, Cause I, I had I had Magirna set up to, I was so fine. I was so fine here. Oh my God. I'm so fine. Um, I was I was actually gonna sweep this. That's, that's wild to me. Yeah, here it comes. And then yeah, I'm just gonna over. Dash. I was so fine. Because basically, next turn, it didn't even matter how much health I had. I had max darkness into Dazzling Gleam, and then that's game, I think. Because I can't KO Weave Alt all because of the uh, thing, and then, yeah. No Pulse, why not? And Glacial Lance, okay. Survive, but for what? I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's unfortunate. I think I played this pretty well, especially given how bad the turn one went, but I mean, that's just, I don't know. And they hit another Origin Pulse. Like, yeah, they still have Dynamax. I wasn't going to win this. Um, I'm actually glad they hit that because they... Uh... Oh, I was so fine. I was so fine. Oh, my God. That really sucks. Okay. 10-minute queues for a game like that. And what was my reward for my suffering? A 15-minute queue. Critical hits, missing my moves. That I can handle. But waiting? My mental game was collapsing. There was a light at the end of the tunnel, though. The number one ranked player in the world. If I could win this game, I'd knock them from their throne and gain a ton of points. The number one player. I waited seven. They've got Magirna. Okay. All right, Wolf. Holy cow. I'm not. Oh, wake up. Just don't be grounded into me. Finally, somebody with some common sense. Uh oh, interesting. Okay. That is quite a bit of damage on Among Us. That's got to be a crit. It doesn't matter because I'm doubling into it. Yeah, that's 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 my one crit. Thank you very much. But it, it did not make a single bit of difference. We take out Among Us turn one. That's probably, I mean, that's probably the best case scenario in all honesty. Um, yeah, like I'm not sure we were going to win this game without without breaking this mushroom because it, I just don't have any answers to, to uh, that, that thing. So here's where things get tricky. I've got a Choice Scarf Kyogre and a very fast Zacian in Trick Room. Magirna comes in. Now we all know how powerful this Pokemon is. But Max and Kyogre here, this is not going to KO Magirna, but it might do big damage. The question is who are they targeting down here? I, I think even a... I think even a double up into Kyogre will, it'll probably do about half, I guess, but they would need to hard read that Zacian was protecting, which is a very risky call. They do not protect. So the question is, who are they targeting down? Do they make the read? Go for a Steel Spike. That's got to be into Zacian. Zacian takes the hit. The question is, what is Lunala choosing to do here? Is it going for Meteor Beam? Is it going for something else? Steel Spike does a lot of damage. I would not be shocked if that's Life Orb Magirna. It is Life Orb. Thank you, Wolf. Okay. 
too much damage. Way too much damage. No. No. Kyogre, if no one else got me, I know Kyogre got me. Oh, Kyogre's got me. Okay, let's think about this now. We don't stack heal tall. We still stack heal tall. They 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 did forty five. Don't tell me that's a crit. They just high rolled me. Okay, that's really bad. The snowball starts now. Uh, that is a major issue. That is a big big issue. They're gonna hit another hypnosis. They're gonna be three out of three. I'm high key in disbelief. That's so unlucky. Oh my god, I actually it's okay, actually it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Actually it's okay. Actually, it's okay. I take it back. Alright, trick room is up. Yeah, I can do that unfortunate. Okay, they're going for trick room. That's fine. Trick room goes back up. Okay. This is really obvious, but I want to make the move anyway. Okay. I live. They shouldn't double me here, I don't think. Okay. This is the rank one player in the world, so I, I have an option here, basically. I have a choice here. This needs to be Trick Room. Show me the Trick Room. Come on. Show me Trick Room. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I popped off way too hard. I'm definitely still losing this. <laughs> that was such a big... <laughs> Holy... Yes, uh, I'm like, I'm definitely losing this. Like, it was a cool play, but it doesn't actually win me the game. I'd have to get like every turn correct from here on out. Okay. I should take out the Magirna, even with plus three defense. There's no way it lives this. All right, well, I got rid of the Magirna, but now the question is, what is the last Pokemon on this team? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, got the call correct again, but it doesn't save me. <laughs> okay, I, I should have called that. That was my bad. I don't know what I was thinking there, in all honesty, because they probably have to go for Trigram here is the truth. Oh, wait, no, it's fine. It's actually okay. If they... Magirna? God, got me. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, I should have gone. I, I had a couple opportunities where they were very obviously going to make that like play. Magirna goes down. All right, Magirna's down. All right, Kyogre, can you get the double one turn sleep? <laughs> So basically, for those of you who don't know, this is a one in three chance of Kyogre waking up. And unfortunately, it looks like that's my best chance of taking out uh, this, of winning this game. I think if I don't wake up here, it's Omega Doomed. Unless it's like some weirdo Calyrex item, but then I'll probably just get the double protect and I'll lose anyway. Like, it, like it's probably Sash or Babbery, basically. Come on, Kyogre. Come on, buddy. You got this. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. You <laughs> piece All right, if nobody else got me, it's Babbery. What a way to go. Any critters? Damn. This was a pretty miserable game. Any missers? Any higher spare missers? Oh, Glacial Lens? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is Trick Room. Just so much damage. <laughs> trick Room, okay. Wait, why did that do so much damage? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, can I win this? No. This game is now officially over, I'm afraid. Oh, they just go for higher star. Okay, higher star miss, and I win. Miss, 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 miss! Okay, well, I waited like 30 minutes in queue to go play rough miss into critical hit, and then Lunala triple hypnosis into no Kyogre wake up in time again. That was the. Yeah, it didn't really matter at this point. I knew it had wide guard, but I, I was basically worried like 
I don't know. I was worried. I was worried about something else there. Like, I, I couldn't not go for Opal's there. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even have any other moves that could KO. Okay. Well, I think that's actually a fitting end to the stream, losing to the number one ranked player like that. I felt this was divine intervention telling me it was time to stop. Defeated, I turned off my switch and went to bed. I couldn't get Magirna to number one in the world. But then, someone in my chat had passed my final opponent on the ladder during our match, briefly putting them to number two in the world. Therefore, it was my actions that led to my opponent once again reclaiming the number one spot. And what Pokemon did my opponent use to beat me? Magirna. So, in a way, I did get Magirna to rank one in the world. It just wasn't how I'd intended to do it.